Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Virgo. So Virgo, as usual, I'm doing a reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you see are from this deck. Um, so Virgo, you seem to be in a hurry to get something done, but it seems like either you are in a competition or you feel like you should be um, kind of like proving yourself it seems like there is a team effort here, uh, but it's almost like you are, uh, it's like you're the great supporter or the great um, incentive that this team needs. And it feels like you're, at the same time that you're the leader, it's like you are as, you know, um, excited about being in this group, doing something together that you are, it's like you you could not, couldn't be bothered to be, you know, the leader. It's like if you weren't the leader, then that's fine. But in this case, it seems like you're the one like pushing any, everyone and like, you know, uh, just taking the lead really because we're beginning with the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords to me gives direction, like a true direction, a clear direction forward. But today, this card came in a hurry, like, you know, uh, speeding things up. It's almost like there is no time to waste. It's like you have to get things going, Virgo. And it seems like you're the one speaking uh, to others, um, like, calling them out but not as in like you, you know um uh, pointing the mistakes it's not like that it's just like you know uh trying to contribute to incentivize them or to uh motivate them it's like you're the motivator right it's like you're you're the leader of this group that is uh you know just communicating things to the others because the others are here it's like everyone is fighting for the same goal in a sense. The Three of Cups talks about this. Uh, it's kind of like the vibe of the Three of Pentacles talking about uh, teamwork, but being the Three of Cups, it's talking about a co-creation from the heart. So everybody in this group is wanting to accomplish the same thing. And, and it's like to the benefit of everyone in the group, right? All involved it's like everybody there it's going to benefit because of this union and it seems like you virgo are the one saying hurry let's go we need to get together we need to do this together so it's like you are it's like it's kind of like you're the you're the trigger you're the one who says now is the moment because it's like everybody has been waiting for your call or has been waiting for your direction the page of cups coming next is wanting to be another side of you when you are with these people it feels like you don't have to be as serious as the ace of swords was giving me the impression of right like serious as in like mature like knowing the responsibility of being the leader being the one who uh, like just engages with everybody and motivates everybody. But once you are with them, it's like you're part of the team. It's like you're you're there with everybody else. It's like everybody is equal and everybody is there for the fun of it, is wanting to just learn and grow and, you know, exchange love, like be together because how fun it is, how enjoyable it is, how delightful it is to be in the company of the others. Yes, there is... A clear goal I want to say because it seems like everybody is going the same direction and you're showing the direction Virgo but once they are there once they are on board with you it's like it's it's fun it's like you it's like your personality change a little bit instead of being you know the very focused leader that is engaging everyone and calling everyone and just you know motivating it's like you're you're part of the team as well and you just want to play right this uh page of cups is coming through as you know playful it's almost like you know let's play together let's do this together but yes we have a goal yes we have this um objective that is very clear it's very um it, it feels very serious in a way especially because we're ending here with the king of swords which is you going back to this seriousness but in the middle it feels like the process of reaching this goal or achieving this success accomplishing whatever is that this competition feels like 
um, Virgo. It's like, it's fun. It's meant to be like this very fun and enjoyable and, you know, just uh, uplifting moment of working together. So this co-creation has a lot of potential, I want to say, because we do have the Six of uh, Wands. So yes, the Six of Wands is, to is talking about the traditional meaning of victory and success and, you know, conquering everything that you are um, just wanting, right? Everything that you are um, going after, but it has to be a group thing. It has to be something that is fun. It, it has to be cozy. It has to be like a get together that is going to uplift you. It's not a competition that is meant to be, you know, um, like this, it, it, it's not meant to have like the downside of, you know, losing a competition or anything like that, especially because you Virgo seem to be so aware of the seriousness of this, but without losing like the playfulness without losing the um like uh the most important part of this to be like a fun accomplishment to be something that you're proud of perhaps that you're going to remember maybe for the rest of your life it has to be something that everybody because what i'm seeing here it's like this page of cups it's like you being part of this team and everybody feeling the same like everybody feeling like they are part of this group so like the victory of one is actually the victory of everyone and the victory of the collective is the victory of one you see what i mean so this is a reason why the three of cups like goes to the page because it's like each individual in this group feels like they are they are contributing like in a very important way in a very significant way to the victory of all but there's another thing that i was seeing here with the six because we have three here and then we have six right so we have two lines of three here that's the reason why i was seeing like this sort of competition but it's almost like um you know there is a sport here in brazil uh it, it's kind of like beach tennis but it's not it's called um Fresco ball. I, I don't know if there's such a thing in the US or, you know, any other part of the world. But that's a game that I love because there aren't any losers. Because the fun thing about that game is that you just keep the ball rolling. So the fun part is that you throw the ball to your partner, which is not your opponent, is your partner, um, to keep playing right and this is how i'm feeling this six of wands it's almost like there is a team and then there is another team on the other side um and the fun thing is to always be there so the game won't end you know what i mean so it's like the fun part is like the accomplishment is like let's make it last longer and longer and longer let's make this you know this day long game that it's not supposed to end it's not supposed to see who wins and who loses it's meant to just keep on going right so this is the fun part this is the achievement in a sense and i want to say that the goal is met by everybody here because it's not just a matter of you having fun with your friends you know playing in the same team but it's also a matter of like respecting the others right the other uh, not opponents but you know game players let's say um it's like the others are in for the same goal of just extending the time of the game right and here with the ten of pentacles it seems like there is this agreement that comes from both teams that it's like if we keep on doing this it's like both of us or you know both of the teams are going to win because it's a shared win this is what this is just amazing virgo because i've never seen this here but in the context of the other cards you know the storyline that is coming through this was talking about a shared win that's the reason why that game came to my mind because you know in every kind of sport if we think it's like there is always somebody that is going to win you know implying that the others are going to lose or come second third whatever but this is like 
everybody wins. Everybody in the team, in both teams, you know, in the collective wins because it's a shared win. It's a shared victory. This is what these two cards are talking about. So it's almost like the commitment to playing the game as, you know, long as we can just to keep the ball rolling is what is going to make this uh, win like multiplied, right? It's like it's there's going to be like this abundance of, you know, victories and the sensation of winning for everybody that is playing this game or that is in this competition. And so here, this is like a very, um, how do I say it? Like generous, that's the word, generous message. The chariot is talking about like the intention, especially coming from you, because again, Virgo, you are showing up here as the leader. It's like you are, maybe you're the teammate that is, you know, proposing to the others that maybe you, you know, just shift the rules and change things so that the game doesn't end, you know, and it's like everybody just wins because of that, right? Because the fun part is just playing and playing and playing, not necessarily winning or losing. You see what I mean? So maybe you're the one, you know, proposing this to everybody. It's like you're the one saying, but what if we just change the rules? What if we just, you know, kept on playing without having to uh, find, you know, the winner or the loser? It's like if we just, because it's like if you have clarity about, what this goal is and again i want to emphasize is your goal but on behalf of the others so it's this common goal it's this common objective that is coming from you maybe you're just the one who has the courage to say it out loud right to propose it to the others maybe the others have already felt the need to change the rules but you're the one who says like okay let's do it let's try this um and it feels like Everybody is on board, not only from your team, but also from the other team, right? So it's like it's fun for everybody. And that's the reason why when it ends, in a sense, because the 10 also talks about this ending, everybody has the sensation that they are winning or that they have won in one way or another, right? Because it's the shared win, right? The tends to me talk about the shared path. So it's a path that everybody that is playing this game or that is in this competition or, and it, maybe it's not a competition per se, right? Maybe it's just life, right? It's like, maybe we're here for, you know, like just living, you know, a certain amount of years here is already, you know, this game, um, not diminishing in any way, but, you know, meant to be fun, meant to be playful, meant to be delightful and uplifting, and meant to make everybody feel like they are gaining something from it, that at the end, if there is such thing, right, everybody wins. And when everybody goes home, because the chariot talks about like, you know, when everybody get together, what gets together, and it's like, there is this great get together, right? That, that's actually the word that I was receiving with the Three of Cups. It's like, you're the one, you know, um, motivating others to get together. And then when everybody is here at the end of the game where there is no uh, winner or loser, but everybody wins, it's like the moment that each person goes back to their lives, it's like they're leaving a lot richer because of that experience, because of that exchange, because because it's like a great big family, right? It's almost like, you know, if we think of, you know, Sunday games, here in Brazil is so common, you know, with football or soccer, um, you know, lots of people like just get together to play football or soccer or any game really. Um, and it's almost like the fun thing is just to keep on playing, right? So when it ends, it's like it has been such a delightful experience. And maybe this is when you, Virgo, because we're ending here with this King of Swords, this is your reflection, right? Maybe maybe you cannot guarantee that the others are going to have the same reflection or the same just... <laughs> Sorry, Virgo. So because you, you are the one entering the scene with the Ace of Swords, and you're ending here with the King of Swords, 
It's like when you are going back home, it's like you are coming back to your senses in a sense, uh, as in like, you know, you're going back to reality and this reality can be serious, but it's like you're bending the rules in a sense, right? It, it could be like, you know, if we are talking about a game, right? A competition, it's like there is a set of rules and you have to be serious and respect them. But there's also this understanding that when you play the game just for the fun of it, it's like, you don't have to worry about the rules. It's like, it's just, it's just fun, right? And so reflecting upon that makes you realize that you have experienced something that is greatly enriching, maybe even, you know, in terms of, you know, social relationships, because the pentacles here is not talking about the prize. Actually, it was talking about sharing the prize, right? Because this is a shared win. So each person gets part of the prize, the final prize, if there is any. Because it's the sensation of sharing that is the prize. So when you go back, it's like you want to share that with more people, right? So it's almost like you are the mastermind in a sense of a new way to play this game, a new way of, you know, making social connections a lot richer because it's like you're, it's like you're bending the rules. You're allowing people to relate to one another and co-create with one another in such a loving way that yes, it has to be very clear to at least one of you, the, you know, the spokesperson, the leader, which seems like you're the one to be in this role right now, Virgo. But it's like once it's out there, once it's said, right, to the others, once it's shared to the others, it's like then this feels true, not only to you, but you are the embodiment of how this game can be played in a different way because now it's like you are carrying that within you and wherever you go it's like this is how you want to play the game this is how you want to engage with others this is how you want to share this path you know with your family with your friends with your co-workers with your colleagues with whomever right it's like you want to take this experience to every single environment that you go, every single relationship that you're in. And it feels like something very conscious, very, um, it's like very illuminating to your awareness, right? It makes sense to you. It's reasonable to you. It's um, feasible. That's the best word you'd be here. Because it's like with a rational mind, it's like you, you entered with a rational mind, with clarity, but also with this um it's like with this kind of urgency to it right so maybe you do maybe you, you already had that idea for a long time but maybe this is the first time that you're actually putting into practice or that you are sharing with others and just testing out and seeing how others are going to react and it seems like it's so it's so much more than you anticipated. It's so much more bountiful and abundant and prosperous and fun and, you know, um, enriching to you and to others that it seems like you have, it's like you have uh, validated your idea, right? It's like everything that you were thinking about, now you see that it can work. Now you see that people will engage, will be part of it. So it seems like you are thinking about, you know, using that idea to take it somewhere else, right? Especially because of the chariot. The chariot, it's like, it's like a mode of transportation that you want to innovate in a sense. It's But it's like, uh, innovate the game, right? So it's like you are, it's like you are, uh, transporting, transporting like others to a next level, to a new way of playing the game. I hope that makes sense. But it's like you are transporting the whole team, right? To a new way of playing this game. 
So Virgo, I am going to pull more cards for you. I hope that made sense. Um, and also I'm going to pull from the astrological runes in the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find the link down below. If not, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.